2023 Hyundai Palisade excels as a comfy family hauler, just as the minivan once kicked the station wagon to the curb as the family hauler of choice, the three-row SUV has now pushed aside the minivan. Since the Hyundai Palisade's introduction in 2020, it, along with the mechanically similar Kia Telluride, has been among the most popular options in the segment with its combination of great value, a plush interior, and a raft of features that ease the task of ferrying a herd of children through suburban America. For 2023, Hyundai gave its three-row schooner a facelift and additional equipment. Our first drive of the new Palisade revealed a comfortable, dynamically sound crossover that can even fulfill the promise of modest, if rarely used, off-road capability. However, unlike its Kia sibling, Hyundai didn't add a trim level with legit off-pavement chops like the 2023 Telluride X-Pro. Exploring the roads around Asheville, North Carolina, we found this Palisade to be the same friendly and easy-to-drive partner as the 2020 original. This checks out, since the 2023 update largely left the mechanicals alone, focusing instead on exterior styling and interior features. We'll let you decide whether the new armor-like grille and thick, boomerang-shaped LED headlights are attractive, but the look is certainly more eye-catching than the previous iteration. As before, the 3.8-liter V6 produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, with the 8-speed automatic also carrying over. The Palisade is still available in front or all-wheel drive. We sampled an all-wheel drive calligraphy model during our visit to Asheville and later tested an XRT model back home in Ann Arbor. The V6 provides more than adequate oomph for a vehicle of this size, the Palisade never felt lethargic in city traffic, and merging onto the highway was a breeze. We recorded a 6.4-second sprint to 60 miles per hour, half a second quicker than the limited model that competed in a 2020 comparison test. The XRT shaved the same margin off of the 30 to 50 and 50 to 70 mile per hour passing tests and improved its rolling 5 to 60 mile per hour start by 0.7 seconds. While the Bridgestone Dueler HP Sport as tires on the 2020 model delivered 0.81 grams of lateral grip, the Hankook Ventus S1 tires on the XRT boosted that figure to 0.84 grams. Ascending a steep hill can sometimes leave the transmission flummoxed, shuffling through the ratios as it searches for the right gear, but the 8-speed generally shifts smoothly around town. Mashing the throttle can also catch the transmission off guard, although switching into sport mode provides more aggressive shifts. The Palisade is also fitted with paddle shifters, but don't be fooled into thinking they make this big SUV an engaging drive. Their unhurried shifts don't make the Palisade noticeably quicker. The steering is precise and sufficiently weighty, switching to sport mode adds heft but no feedback. The Palisade rides fairly smoothly, although it can feel a bit taut over rougher pavement, and body roll is well controlled for such a large vehicle. The brakes, while devoid of feel, stop the 4,423-pound SUV well enough, hauling it down from 70 miles per hour in 161 feet, an impressive 12-foot improvement over the 2020 model. Hyundai touts increased sound deadening for 2023, but we still heard a fair amount of wind noise whooshing by the sizable side-view mirrors at highway speeds, and our interior sound test at 70 miles per hour registered the same 69 decibels. However, the large crossbars included with the XRT trim that are hanging up in the airstream likely add to the noise. While the school pickup line and target parking lot are the Palisade's usual haunts, Hyundai nonetheless wanted to demonstrate the SUV's adventurous side. The new XRT plays up that theme but doesn't include any meaningful hardware upgrades. On a mild off-road trail, traversing through muddy puddles and deep ruts, the Palisade proved to be a surprisingly capable companion. It absorbed small bumps well, and the ultra-sharp front, rear, and bird's-eye camera views helped us avoid skirmishes with rocks and trees. Still, the pavement-oriented tires struggled for grip in the mud, the front fascia and lower air dam limit clearance, and we wouldn't recommend pushing the Palisade beyond a dirt-2 track. Inside, 
The Palisade is just as pleasant as before. Hyundai provides a luxurious cabin for a fairly affordable price, with the top-of-the-line calligraphy model starting at $50,835, add $1,900 for all-wheel drive. The calligraphy's interior is full of supple materials, such as the Nappa leather that wraps the extremely comfortable seats. New for 2023 is the Ergo Motion Driver's Seat, which automatically starts massaging your back and bottom during a long drive to help reduce fatigue. The seats also tighten the bolstering around your ribs when you engage sport mode, making you feel more snug when you're navigating twistier roads or just need a hug. The Palisade now comes standard with a 12.0-inch touchscreen, which displays crisp, modern graphics, and the refresh adds several features that are crucial for placating a crowd. Along with available heated and ventilated seats in the first two rows, the third row gains optional heated seats, just like the new Range Rover, while the second row is also fitted with adjustable wings on the headrests to keep noggins from flopping over during nap time. The Palisade becomes the first Hyundai to offer a Wi-Fi hotspot, providing 4G LTE service from Verizon, and it features the latest version of Hyundai Digital Key, which allows owners to use an iPhone, an Apple Watch, or a Samsung Galaxy to lock, unlock, and start their car in lieu of a key. Four USB-C and one USB-A port are standard, but to really keep everyone's devices charged up, a wireless charging pad and USB ports in the third row are available. Parents will also be happy to hear that the 2023 Palisade adds side impact airbags in the second row. And parking collision avoidance assist joins a host of other driver assistance features. There is also a digital rear view mirror, calligraphy model only, for increased visibility when the Palisade is full up with passengers or cargo auto-dimming mirrors to reduce glare, and a new tow mode on all-wheel drive models, although maximum towing capacity remains 5,000 pounds. With all of these new features coming for around $50, oh, 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 and many of them available on cheaper trims, the 2023 Palisade continues to make a strong value argument while providing competent driving dynamics and adding an uptick in freshness to the design.